Hi friends, it's Jamie with Self Made Manicure and my friend asked me to try out Mini Mani Moo Gel's Peel Off Base Coat, which I cured under an LED light. She works with humans out in public, so she was worried about getting embarrassed and having that kind of common scenario that comes up for a lot of us who use peel off base coats where you look down and suddenly your nail has shed itself and you don't know where it is and later you find it, you know, on the bathroom floor or in an elevator or something like that. And if that's happening at work or a party, that can be really embarrassing. So she didn't wanna use it, she asked me to, and because I work from home and uh, have no friends, it's fine. So I took one for the team. So about a week ago, um, I applied a thin coat of Beatles glitter over the top of other gel polish. And let me see if I can just get in here. Right here at the tip of my pinky, you can see the color of the purple that was under the peel off. So um, perhaps the goal was that this would be put over natural nails only. It doesn't say on here that you should not use this over a gel overlay or builder gel. I am a builder gel person. I do a gel overlay and that's, well, one day this hand hopes to look like this hand, but, um, I, you know, I pretty much always have like gel on my nails now at this point. So I wasn't going to completely remove everything down to the natural nail just to try this out. That may have impacted the results. Um, I had a whole series of super boring videos that I recorded while I was trying to figure out, you know, like what it was like to do the removal process. I followed the instructions for application. As far as I know, I followed them. And then I also believe that I followed the removal instructions. I soaked my hands for seven minutes in water, hot water. I measured it because originally I was thinking that my kitchen faucet water was only 99.3 degrees. Maybe that wasn't hot enough. So then I, I heated up some water got it to temperatures between 118 to 140. That's very hot. I don't recommend 140 degrees. It's like an uncomfortable hot tub only on your fingertips. So you're probably not gonna like that. Um, but even once it was down like in the range of 118, I tried soaking it. And the moral of the story is this stuff does not really come off. Uh, I was expecting that it was gonna behave like a lot of the other peel off base coats that I've tried before. Uh, there's a regular polish peel off base coat produced by Hollow Taco called Peely Base, and then another one from UNT. I think it's Prepare for Takeoff, something like that. Um, and both of those, well, I haven't used the UNT, but I've used the Hollow Taco, and it comes off really easily. So if you're swatching or if you want, you know, glitter or nail art to come off quickly, it'll do that, you know, within hours even. This is not gonna happen. Um, I'm not a soak off person. Personally, I don't think that I would use this because in the same amount of time that I have spent soaking and picking and hoping to get some of this off of here and like really not making any decent progress, um, I could have used my electric file and just like shredded it down to a point where, you know, I'd be, by now I'd be working on my cuticles. Um, and I do want to say also that when I applied this, I didn't prep it to try to make it last. And I'll explain what I mean to you by that. So normally when I use a peely base, like this hollow taco peely base, which is just a regular polish, you just paint it on, it air dries, you don't have to cure it. Uh, when we use these, we want to try to get some longevity out of it. So there's a trick, right? Let's imagine that this is the shape of your fingernail made mega big so that you can think about it. So if this product goes all the way out to the edge of your nail, and then over the top of it, you put your polish, and I've even used gel over this before, it will shed itself super fast because it's just like that layer of peel off base coat extends all the way out to the edges. 
And if water comes into contact with that, because this is water-based, it'll just it'll just peel off, and then you can shed the entire fingernail layer of color, you know, just in like, well, you look down and it's just gone. Um, so one of the tricks for using this is that you paint and apply it with a perimeter. So imagine like where I'm showing you here now, you only apply it into that inner space. And then when you do your layer of color over the top of that, you put that all the way out to the perimeter of the nail. So what you're doing is creating a kind of little island of peel off base coat in the center of your nail with some edges that the polish actually seals down to your nail and touches the edge of it all the way around. And that's one of the tricks for making it last longer. And I knew that. So when I applied this, wanting it to be an easy removal process, I put this all the way out to the edges, intentionally thinking, okay, let it come off, it's fine. I mean, I don't mind if it just, you know, happens to come off. So I didn't even do the trick of only putting it in the middle to try to get extra longevity out of it. I put it all the way out to the edges. And when I um, applied my glitter polish, I did not cap my tips. I was just like, you know, not trying to make it last. And this stuff is still on there. So, uh, conclusions are, I don't think this is going to embarrass you. Now, I, I don't have a job where my hands are in water a lot. And it's possible that if you um, had to, you know, like work in the food service industry or in healthcare uh, or something like that, there may be job requirements throughout the day that just expose you to a lot more water. And this may not last for you the same way. But I think that if you have more of a desk job, I i mean, I just can't even, like, I can't get it to come off. And I'm going to e-file it. But I don't know. Personally, uh, for whatever they have said that you're supposed to use it for, I don't know that I would use it for that. But uh, if you want to try it, I don't think that it's going to embarrass you. So it would need more experimentation and research just to make sure that you've got it uh, happening like the right way. But I don't think that it's just gonna come off the way that this can just kind of come off. Hope that's helpful. Good luck.